there it is. As I said, the bacon's a bit burnt. It's a bit hot yet, so I thought I'd record the rest of the video. I've, uh, I did calm down, obviously. Um, I had a nice rest while it carried on burning. <laughs> Um, and as I got it out of the oven, I also made myself a cup of tea in my, I'm usually gorgeous, but it's my day off mug. <laughs> um, oh God. It is such an insult to be declared fit for work when this is actually a fairly good day. I mean, I do have better days and I have worse days and I never know when they're coming. I can, I can sometimes, like yesterday I went shopping. Um, since the Monday before, um, so the, the, the whole week before that, I'd spent most of my time on my own. I'd been to my mum's on Thursday to have reflexology and <clears throat> um, spent a little time with a friend who lives close by to my mum, as well as time with my mum. And on Friday, I was picked up and taken to mind. It's the first time I felt well enough and being awake at the right time to go to mind on a Friday afternoon. And the only reason any really of the times that I've been there that I can go is because I am picked up and taken, um, even on a good day. The parking in that area is so horrific that the thought of making the effort to get into the car after making sure that I'm reasonably presentable to go out the house um, and if I can't find parking I just don't know what to do and I end up I mean I, I, I went to my mum's one day um, her house backs onto a large car park and she's got gates and quite often I can't I can't open the gates to go in and sometimes mum's not well enough either um, so I tend to, I tend to not see anyone for days and days and days on end um, last yesterday as I said I went to Lidl's to buy some more of that their wonderful chicken tikka masala jar because that's the nicest I've tasted of it and the last I, I wanted to buy a chicken as well, but they were four quid, and I couldn't afford it. I thought it might actually be cheaper in Tesco's. I was going to go to Tesco's as well, but I couldn't manage that as well in the same day. And I did. I, I, I visited a friend, which is the first time I've done that. Um, it's the first time I've gone shopping and visited a friend for about five or six weeks. Um, yes, I visited from my mum's, but that's different. That's going to reflexology and that actually often helps me find a bit of energy. But uh, I try and do shopping after that sometimes, but it's not always possible. Um, I thought I had a befriender. I, I went through all the trauma of the assessment and getting the report with some quite frankly um, insulting views on it the man who assessed me didn't mean it that way he just didn't understand as well as I thought he had and then a few weeks later I I had someone come for an hour uh, two hours I think it was which actually totally and utterly exhausted me um, and we talked through what what she could do for, to help me. She was offering to take me shopping, which d it does make it easier going shopping with with somebody else. Um, <clears throat> and if 
I wasn't well enough to go shopping, to go and pick things up for me, and that we'd take it week by week. She'd come for a couple of hours every week. Uh, the next week, she rang me to apologise. She couldn't arrive. She couldn't come, which I didn't mind really because um, that week I'd actually got a visitor, which was um, something that was really nice but also very challenging because I've got used to being on my own and I do need a lot of my own space. Um, it's a very difficult balance to 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 find because sometimes I just can't cope with being around people, even people who I feel completely at home with. Um, And I'm losing my point again, but my food's going a bit cold, maybe, so I ought to probably eat it before it goes cold. I, I, I use other things, I use distractions after I've cooked something, because if I try and eat it, because I'm so hungry when I eat quite often, I just want to eat it quick, and it's too hot. So I, I, I leave it to go cooler, and sometimes I leave it to go cold by accident, and it's not so nice. And I don't want that to happen to this meal. Um, I haven't said all the things that I wanted to say about how difficult it is to um, to to see all the discrimination against ill and disabled people in this country at the moment and live it and still be waiting for the tribunal because I was declared fit for work in June. Uh, I was doing slightly better at that point than I am now but not every day and I haven't I haven't quite recovered from that yet, but then I don't suppose I will until I know if I'm going to have to look for work or keep going. If I'm, if I'm, if if the decision will is upheld of of being fit for work, which if it was, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be claiming for help if I wasn't, if I was fit for work. I wouldn't. I'd be doing my self-employment. I have many talents. Ah. Getting myself upset again. I keep looking to what I can appreciate. And I can appreciate this. Where is it? I forgot that I needed to turn the, cam the, the camera around. I'm going to appreciate this. It's, it's going to be absolutely yummy.